Hey, welcome to today's video. Today's video, we're gonna go through revising. Now revising is one part of the writing process after we do our draft copy, where we go through and we're trying to improve our writing. That doesn't mean we're going through and editing our work. So we're not gonna focus on spelling or punctuation or where things are going in a paragraph or things like that today. We're gonna to focus on making our writing so much better, making our writing shine. So the way we're gonna do that is with the acronym of ARMS, okay? So we're gonna add in any extra detail that we can that might be adverbial phrases and things like that. We're gonna remove any unnecessary words that don't need to be there. We're gonna move some sentences around if we need to, and we're gonna substitute words for a better synonym. Okay, so if you wrote the word big in there, you might substitute that word to make it sound stronger. Okay, let's go through, because not always all of your paragraphs and all of your editing, so all of your revising you do, will actually need to use all of them, but these are the things to remember to look for. Okay, so when we go through, now the biggest thing I will say is when we're revising is that people don't read their work out loud. I really, really encourage you to read your work out loud or have someone read it to you to really see how it sounds, okay? Beep, beep, beep. The sound of David's alarm had been going off for 45 minutes. I'd also suggest that you don't read too much ahead. Let's just stop there. Beep, beep, beep. The sound of David's alarm had been going off for 45 minutes, okay? The thing that sticks out for me straight away is going off. It's a real like, slang way of talking, going off. So I'm trying to think of what would be if David's alarm had been, um, I'm gonna use this, had been blaring. Now blaring is another word for like really loud, okay? So had been, so I'm gonna cross that out, had been blaring for 45 minutes. Okay, cool. Also could, let's see if I can add any extra detail in. Add verbal phrasing, so what was he doing? So the sound of David's alarm had been going off for 45 minutes as David lay there snoring like a chainsaw. So not only am I giving them a better idea of what's going on, I'm also using one of my similes, which also helps out. So then we have that sentence. David, seriously, you sleep like a log. Get out about, get out of bed right now, his mother screamed. Now I don't really have anything for that. Although if you wanna remove stuff or if you realize by going through that something sounds better, you can change it. So David, seriously, you sleep like a log. Get out of bed right now, his mother screamed. I'm gonna add something after his mother screamed. His mother screamed, get rid of this. His mother screamed for the 30th time. Okay, all this is doing is giving the audience a better idea of how, of how big and how important this situation is and how much, um, how much his mum actually did try for him, okay? David shot up out of bed like a jack-in-the-box as he looked at the time. I'm happy to leave that one. I really don't think that one needs to be good fixed because it has the like a jack-in-the-box there. What? 9.30? I'm super late. Let's hope that's the only bad thing that happens today. Okay, that's true. I don't want to have that. I mean, I could add in that only bad. He probably would talk like that. There's nothing to remove necessarily there. I could substitute words. I could add in some extra detail. Let's have a think. What, 9.30? I'm super late. I'm gonna add in something else, okay? Why didn't mum try and wake me? That makes it a little bit funny. Adding a bit of humor in things also helps the audience. By making things a bit fun, we're more likely to wanna to read, okay? What, 9.30, I'm super late. Why didn't mum try and wake me? Let's hope that's the only bad thing that happened to me today, but it was only the beginning. It was only the beginning. Is that, is that strong enough? It was only, I think I feel like I need to add something in. It was only, it was only just the beginning. To me, that, that, just that extra word makes it sound so much stronger. It's like, but it was only the beginning, but it was only just the beginning. Makes it sound a little bit stronger. Um, you could say it was only just the beginning of David's birthday disaster. That's up to you. So remember, when we're revising, we're gonna go through our work. We're gonna add in things like similes. We're gonna add in extra detail because when you're running your draft, you don't have time sometimes to go back and look at it like this. So during this time is when you're really gonna make a chance 
to actually make your work better. When you edit, all you're doing is fixing mistakes. This is your chance to make your work shine. This is your chance. The revising part is where you take good work and you make it awesome. Adding in similes, adding in different sort of synonyms for different sorts of words, making sure you're fixing up adverbial phrasings and things like that. This is the part where you're gonna make your work awesome. So remember, we're gonna go through revising. You're gonna take your work from yesterday and you're gonna go through, follow these steps, like I said, I didn't move any sentences because sometimes you don't have to. So checking those things and making sure that your work is gonna shine. Let's see what we can come up with. I'm sure you're gonna do some great things. Thanks for watching.